Namaste. Welcome. The mala necklace, the one that I'm holding right now, is one of the most helpful tools for gaining focus and concentration in the practice of meditation. Well, personally, for me, this is more than an adjunctive tool. It's an essential component of my practice. There's something healing and inspiring and protective and spiritual about the mala necklace. It is believed that all the protective and healing force that we produce in the practice of meditation, you know, this potent energy goes to our mala necklace after the practice and we wear this around our necks or we uh, keep it close to our altar if you have one. So we become covered with that protective layer of healing force. So how do we make use of the necklace, the mala? So it's simple. So we will hold it with the right hand and allow the beads to drape over the middle finger, the ring finger, and the small finger. And we will avoid our index finger to touch the bead. Yeah, we will be extending our index finger away from the necklace. So we will be using the thumb instead in rotating the beads towards our direction. Yeah, inward. So normally, either you breathe through it, so one pranayam is one bead. If you're saying a mantra, if you're saying a silent uh, prayer or japa, one of the mantra, one of the silent prayer or japa is one bead towards our direction, inward. Yeah? Using our thumbs to you know, work through the necklace inwards. So for example, you finish the whole 108 because there are 108 beads in the mala necklace and there's one extra at the bottom we call the meru bead. So for example, you want to do another round of 108, you don't cross over the central bead. Rather, yeah, you're going to flip the mala necklace over if you are doing another round. So for example, you finish the whole 108 yeah for example yeah so you've reached the end and then you want to do another round so you don't cross over it rather so you're gonna be flipping the necklace over so you're working in reverse yeah again the direction is towards your body yeah so there are 108 in the whole necklace and an extra meru bead but there are some which have only 54 beads some even 27 or 18 i think so depending on your time availability because not every one of us will be able to finish 108 in one session so for example if you're doing a shorter meditation it might help you getting the shorter ones to manage your time so what do we do after the meditation either we wear the mala necklace around our necks or you keep it close to your altar if you have one yeah, so it's your own healing energy in it, it's sacred. Don't allow other people to touch it. So allow it to nourish, allow it to grow bigger in your practice, to guide you, to protect you, and to inspire your meditation. Till the next time. Namaste.